welcome back to today's video. Today's video begins with the Hopeville Carrot Festival. I love going to any festival that I am locally around and harvest festivals are one of my favorites. This festival had a heavy Mexican influence as Hopeville is very close to the Mexican border. There was incredible classic cars, floats decorated with carrots, and a beautiful community spirit. This festival was incredibly run. If you don't know, I do festivals for a living. I'm a body painter and I have been working at festivals for 11 years. So it is such a cool experience to be able to see festivals in different areas and how they are run and what the vendors are like. These ladies were having the time of their lives on their horses. Super cute. This parade was really, really cool to see. Because I work festivals for a living, all of the cool stuff that the festivals have to offer, I don't usually get to partake in. So this parade was several hours long and really incredible to see the community come together. Many, many marching bands of schools competing, um, really incredible drum lines and classic cars. Everybody was so happy. The kids were clapping and it was just really so nice to see such an incredible well put together celebration after the parade we headed over to the vendors and I got to see one of the coolest ice cream machines ever So fun and so delicious. We started to pack up and get ready to head towards the Mexican border and I really wanted to stop at this super cool date farm. This date farm is called Naked Dates. They specialize in all organic dates and I visited with them while I was at the date festival in one of my previous videos. And so this is their date farm. They offer glamping tents. They have cool old cars, Volkswagens all over the property. And I decided to learn how to play cornhole. This is my very first time playing cornhole and I definitely shot a couple good ones. <laughs> We decided to cross at the Algodones Yuma border. And so I stopped at an O'Reilly's to make sure that Shelby's fluids were all topped off and she was running as best as she possibly could. Lo último que 
que se pierde Aunque a veces me cuesta encontrarte Eres la sensación de fe Que las cosas van a salir bien Puertocitos. Puertocitos is a really cool old fishing village that has a ocean hot spring. This ocean hot spring correlates with the tide. So as the tide comes in, it cools down the hot spring water. And as the tide goes out, the hot spring water gets warmed back up. So it is a little sensitive in terms of time, but it is by far one of my favorite hot spots. una fiel amiga Apoyándome a seguir mis sueños Y recordándome Que todo está a mi alcance hot springs you would find this water super interesting at Puerto Citos. The sulfuric hot water is coming straight out of the rocks and the natural salty cool seawater is mixing in and forming these really cool layers while you're soaking in the pool. It was such a special experience and we ended up getting to see a pod of dolphins. we were headed to Guerrero Negro, we quickly got derailed off of the road to drive in this ditch to avoid 
a pretty severe accident. A huge semi had turned over in the middle of the road. I really hope that everyone was okay in this situation. These roads are very narrow and you need to be extremely careful when traveling in Baja. We have arrived in Guerrero Negro, which has the best tacos at Tacos El Mulaje. Those tacos were absolutely delicious. I fucking devoured those. Like, I don't even think I chewed half of it. Um, wow, that was my favorite place that I ate in all of Mexico the last time I was here. And they're just so good. Got two shrimp and two fish. Ugh. I normally, like, wouldn't get four tacos. Um, that's a lot. But holy shit i'm so full oh what i need though is i need like a coconut a mango some kind of uh fruit to wash that down with would be so nice we are waking up in ojo de libre one of the most precious wildlife reserves in all of mexico this place is on one of their dollar bills and soon you will see why it is absolutely incredible bay where the gray whales have their babies they come all the way down from alaska and this entire bay becomes a nursery to ospreys coyotes and gray whales Thank you all so much for tuning in to this week's video. This experience at Ojo de Libre was a highlight of my life and I'm so grateful I got to experience it again. I am back on the editing game. I have been filming through Baja and so there is more adventures to come. I will see you in the next one.